Hi guys and welcome to another best possible squad builder by myself Bates and 87. Now this week, Inform Dempsey was released over his uh, performance at the weekend for Seattle Sounders. Yep, I think I said that correctly. Now, if you guys do enjoy these best possible squad builders, we are doing a USA today, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, and obviously with the team name of being of USA. So if you guys are American, and you do enjoy American teams, American players, and all the team, I like it, and we're very much appreciated. Try and hit over 5,000 likes, and remember to subscribe if you are not subscribed already. If you do want any MSP, PSN codes, or cheap game codes as well, to uh, try and get your hands on any of these purple cards, record breaker, Ronaldo, new team of the week as well, Make sure you do check out G2A.com. Their link is down below in the description. So, originally, we were going to try and get hold of some Inform Silvers. Very, very difficult because they are really rare. But thankfully, there's enough players to build the team. So, in the goalkeeper position, after we set up the parameters. And also, in the comment section below, guys, let me know some of the best possibles we can do. I am holding off the big leagues, the big nations, and the big clubs until Team of the Season is released. Just because there's no point in doing them until the Team of the Season players are actually released. So, in the goalkeeper position, we have the normal non inform Tim Howard from Everton. He was everyone's go-to goalkeeper at the start of FIFA. And the reason that was because he was pretty cheap and had insane stats. I still struggle to score against Tim Howard. He's more, one of my most annoying goalkeepers to play against. In the centre-back position, on the left-hand side, um, in the middle, sorry, we go Gonzalez, 74 rated. On the left-hand side, we do go with Bezler. And then on the right-hand side, we do go with Brooks. Now, a lot of people, if you're a foot fan, do uh, look at silver informs. You'll know that he's an inform of Parra as well. Unfortunately, he is extinct, but he's 70. 71 rated as well, so that's why we did bring in Brooks. Now, the reason we've gone with Brooks and uh, Bezla on the outside is because they are pretty fast defenders. It is very noticeable in game as well, even though Brooks is a. It reminds me a lot of how Ramos plays. He attacks the ball, usually misses, and then you're left with a massive gap for your opponent to run into. In the CM position on the right hand side, we do go with Jones, even though he has got an afro now uh, sporting it at the Rebs. And then on the left hand side, we do go with Michael Bradley, the ex Roma player. He. The these two, honestly, are really, really good CMs, but not a lot of people will go near them just because of the league, just because of the nations. But if you have a look at the in-game stats and everything like that on Footed or Footwiz, you'll see that they have got some very, very nice hidden talents and you can take advantage of that if you are looking to build a team which is really, really cheap and also has decent stat players. On the left-hand side, we go with second in form Donovan. This is probably his last card on FIFA, unless he gets a legend card, but we'll talk about that a little bit more in the highlights. And he's not extinct as well, which is quite rare. In the right midfield position we go over silver, unfortunately it is map. Map is 79 rated with, uh, si well 70, yes, 70 rated, sorry, with 79 pace and 72 dribbling. Not the standout player which I was looking to get into the team, but to keep it the highest rated um, um, USA team on the game we had to put him in there. In the camp position we have a January upgrade player, which is Nagoyan or Ngoyan uh, plays for the Revs as well getting that perfect link with Jones, so a nice cheap ability there if you did want a hybrid it up and he has four star skills he was rumored to be leaving the revs for a bigger club um well that's not diminishing any mls teams but le leaving towards a bigger league which was obviously the likes of the bpl and things like that but if you've not tried him guys recommend trying him out you've usually probably packed him with all the packs being opening the past couple of days if you have been opening packs you've got a good chance of getting him and trying him out in the strike position on the left hand side we do go with johansson we could have had a noticeable mention for our man josie altidor but we wanted to go with johansson now the reason i was struggling to get this guy last week actually yeah uh, in preparation for this squad builder he was extinct on the market but if you go and have a look now there is actually a few on the market there's actually one page of him and he's going for quite cheap 900 coins being the cheapest and if you look at him i think he's got the best finishing ability of any silver on the game which is why a lot of people want to go near him in the striker position to finish off the team guys we go with clint dempsey the inform version we picked him up for 60k on day of release no doubt because of the amount i was seeing on the market he is going to hit rock bottom and be 40 uh, 40,250 coins uh, in a couple of days time maybe even now as you are watching the video just because of how many packs have been opened for people to try and get these purple cards so guys if you have enjoyed the video like rating would be very much appreciated if you're USA if you're American smash the like button subscribe if you're not subscribed then smash the like button as well if you, even if you're not American supports the content you know so with that said let's get into the highlights we did get with this team and talk about the players a little bit more in depth now for some reason I absolutely love using MLS teams I love using uh, 
uh, well, I say I love using USA teams. This team was pretty fun. Jones and also um, Bradley were very, very good at keeping the def defence very tight as well, sticking to the defenders. Uh, Gonzalez was pretty good. Besler likes to play a little bit high, but Gonzalez was definitely one of the standout defenders in the game. And uh, also Brooks. He was all over the spot. I can understand why people don't really like using Brooks. Um, as he can be a bit hit and miss. With the goalkeeper, Tim Howard, he is the best goalkeeper I've used in a very long time. Should have used him before, haven't. Um, but I wasn't really looking to talk really much about the defence or the goalkeeper. With the winger of second in form, Donovan, don't really rate him in that position. He was alright, but obviously we're never going to see another card of him because he's retired now. So if you do want to buy him, guys, it is a bit of a novelty as it is his last in form you'll ever see until he does. Possibly... And that is a big possibility of him getting a legend card in the future. He has done a lot of work with BA, so who knows? He might have already bought his rights. We might see him as a legend card next FIFA. That's actually, that's actually, yeah, he, I, I reckon we might see a legend card of Donovan next FIFA. That's just me uh, presuming, but I reckon it's possible just with all the work he's done with the EA recently and uh, during his career um, as well. Now, Dempsey and Johansson, very, very good players. Uh, Johansson actually is one of the best fit silver finishers um, statistically and also in the game as well. He's fun, he's fast, the team linked up very good. Dempsey with his four-star skills and Ngoyan as well, he was a ridiculous cam. If you've got no coins, guys, well, if you've got no coins, you're going to pick him up for discard value anyway. But if you are lucky enough to pack him, definitely try and use him, see what he's like. Now, the USA team, I will be revisiting with the MLS team as well later on in FIFA. So, um, don't worry about that as there is not many informs on this game, on this team already. But I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you're American, if you're a fan of my videos, guys, leave a like rating on the video. It's always appreciated. Subscribe if you are not subscribed already. And let me know some other best possibles we can do in the future for you guys to enjoy. Also, also, if you have used Johansson, let me know what you think of him, whether he's a good player or whether you would rather use Altidore in the team. So until next time, guys, see you all later. Have a very, very nice rest of your day.